just to bring in context in case you weren't aware of this, I'm sure most people know, but basically T. Martin ran a CSGO gambling website. He pretended that he had nothing to do with it. And look how much money I'm winning. Oh, this is baby, epic, guys. Yes, is look how much I'm Holy winning. Cow, All right, kids, sign up for my website where you can win too. And oh, what? It came out that I own the website? What? I'm the CEO of the website? What? And uh, here's the apology video. So T. Martin thought, okay, well, I need to address this in the best way possible. Cooper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. I, I can't stress enough how much I love this video, okay, guys? Okay, guys, because we're only eight seconds in and already so much has happened. First off, you start off with a dog. That's an amazing thing to do. You want to bring in like a pet, something that everyone loves. Everyone loves dogs. And he doesn't just bring in a pet. He also has the pet for advice. I have no idea how I'm going to record this video. dude. And the dog even looks sad. I mean, if this is not the perfect apology video, I don't know what is. If you can make your pet look sad for your apology video, you're you're done. Hey, hey. He brings in the most beautiful sigh I have ever heard. Well diluted nostrils, his eyes are right, closed. Guys, so uh, He tells us, you know what, this is fake. Then, you have the background. Not only is he sitting in the goddamn mansion, you know, if you scam kids for money, you kind of want to meet seem a little bit more subtle with it. Maybe you want to not record in the entrance hall of your mansion. How tall is that ceiling? And on top of it all, how do you get your car in the background of your video? I'm sorry, how is that even possible? He does not only just get his mansion in this apology video, he gets his car in there as well. A nice little cameo. I mean, I don't even know how I could possibly set up an apology video to have my car in the background. It doesn't get better than this. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. But first and foremost, I do want to say that I... He started off by saying that he doesn't want to waste our time. And then he proceeds to waste our time with saying how much he loves his fans. I love you guys. You guys seriously mean the world to me. You have for the past six years that I've been on YouTube. And you honestly have changed my life. Like every single day I get to wake up and chase my dreams and follow my passions. And that's all been made possible. Because I lied to you. <laughs> I'm sure he loves his fans. Just in the same way you love your money. Just in the same way you love your car and your mansion. So I don't necessarily think he's lying. I just think it's a, it's a good way to start a video. You want to make sure that you tell your fans how much you love them right off the bat. But, and, and I not love you guys as much as I love my car. Bad. Just that you have just so much love to give. Now, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. <laughs> Wait, wait. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. I am sorry to each and every one of you who felt like that was not made clear enough to you. I love this because he's been exposed that his company, he was the CEO of the company, but the, the response is basically, it was public record. Sorry. It was just public, it was, it's your fault, get it? Shifting blame, this is what I'm talking about. It's your fault. I'm not being disingenuous and I haven't been lying to you. It's your fault, you know? You watch this video? Go, boys! That's All right, so I'm gonna open up my... It's your fault for not understanding how perfectly clear it is that uh, he actually owns his website. Look at that! Woo! Off to a hot start, baby! I mean, this whole apology really is just, it just seems like he's trying to cover his ass, legally speaking. And he even says it himself. Please also know that I am committed to making sure that my YouTube channel, as well as all of my other businesses, are in compliance with the law. They're in compliance with the law, everybody. A great response, you know. If you've done something that people don't like, just, just hit them with that, it's a compliance with the law, guys. Slap the ice cream of a kid. It's a compliance with the law. So what was the repercussion with this? Well, not much, to be honest. A lot of people thought, you know, this would be a big scandal, possibly jail time. People said there would be millions of dollars in fines. What, what was the verdict? Well, basically nothing. I mean, they got away with a warning from the FTC. And they, essentially, if this happens again, they will be fined roughly $40,000. Which, for someone like T. Martin, seems like a pretty insignificant amount. 
So really, nothing really changed. But you know, it was in compliance with the law. As far as I can tell, he's still uploading videos. And True.